You kids don't play so rough. Somebody's gonna start crying. Mr. Blonde, you okay? We thought you might have got caught. What happened? Really, how'd you get away? Where's Mr. Blue? We were hoping you two would be together. Look. Look, he got in the belly. He's still alive, but he won't be- Enough! Enough! You better start talking, butthole. Because we got poop we need to talk about. We're really freaked out right now. And we need you acting freaky like we need a bag on our hip. All right, so let's talk. I think we got a rat in the house. I guarantee we got a rat in the house. Whatever makes you think that. What, is that supposed to be funny? Listen, we don't think this place is safe. Listen, this place isn't secure anymore. We're leaving. You should go with us. Nobody's going anywhere. Hey, take a pee on this poop. We're out of here. <laughs> don't take another step, Mr. White. Hey, forget you, maniac! It's your trouble we're in so much trouble. It's your fault we're in so much trouble. What's this guy's problem? What's my problem? Yeah, I got a problem. I got big problems with any trigger-happy madman who almost gets me shot. What are you talking about? The shooting spree in the store! Forget them. They set off the alarm. They deserve what they got. You almost killed me, butthead! If I had any idea what type of guy you were, I'd never would have agreed to work with you. Are you gonna bark all day, little doggy? Or are you gonna bite? What was that? I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't catch that. Would you repeat it? I said, are you gonna bark all day, little dog? Or Well, that was interesting. <laughs> what is that from? I have no idea what that is. Reservoir dog. Reservoir Dogs. 1992. Well, okay. The one thing that I enjoyed was the um, the censorship in that one. That oh, was yeah. excellent. Kids watch this show. <laughs> We're family friendly. <laughs> My favorite was pee on this poop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, if you guys are tuning in, thank you guys so much for coming back to yet another episode of Bump That. Woo! Uh, if you're listening for the first time, I am your host, Ileana. We've got Brian in this corner. I just had an injury to my fantasy team. Blue, 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 blue. We've got KT in this corner. I'm sick. Oh. And we are siblings who love to nerd out and decided to share it with all of you people. And here you are listening. Welcome. This week, we've got some fun stuff for you. Uh, the Nintendo Direct just dropped, so that will be the chunk that we discussed today. But before that, we're going to be going into Fantastic Beasts that was just announced. Uh, anniversary of Disney+. Plus. Some Netflix buys. Exercise with KT. Ileana's, uh, not really animation this week, but just movie interest whatever brian's stream of the week and then the nintendo direct so if you are interested in any of that stuff stick around enjoy yourself grab a cup of tea maybe oh, a yeah, coffee i think i could be interested <laughs> oh my. well this is just the place for you all right let's jump into it fantastic beast gets a new title the secrets of dumbledore that's a dumb name oh Big Sister, can you step up closer to your mic so we can hear you? That's a dumb name. Can you hear me now? Closer. Yes. Clo a little bit close. A little bit closer. Uh, there. Welcome me. to Agrabah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> secrets of Dumbledore. Listen, we all know there's one big secret about Dumbledore, okay? And it involves, um, you know, um, picking up your clothes out of, uh, you know, out of certain locations in your house. Other than that, I don't know whether secrets Dumbledore has, but okay, so. Oh my god, but that is, that is a dumb name. The secrets of Dumbledore. Next yeah, be, I next mean. Like... Where, are you guys, did you guys, are you guys big fans of Fantastic Beasts? I haven't seen a single one of them. I, I saw the first one, and I was just thinking, this is really boring. And the main character, I forget his name, um, Newt something, I think is his name. He always looks like he's about to cry. 
I can't stand that actor, actually. Yeah. Really? You don't like him? It. Can't stand I think uh, I watched, uh, what's that movie? Um, the Theory of Everything. Untalented where he plays, actor. Where he ever. plays Stephen Hawking? Wow. I was Yeah, absolute... undeserved. Undeserved. What? What do you mean? This is a kid. Ed, his name is Eddie Redmayne. This is an okay. actor who, who literally just gets everything handed to him not literally i have no this guy has no talent he <gasps> is in so many movies and he's literally like eddie do this do that do this do that the guy is like british plain bread get the <sighs> heck out of here eddie Rick. i, mean, I can't I believe you would say that no i'm serious when can't he stand him. i was at your house a couple years ago and i watched the theory of everything and he plays the stephen hawkins character Wow, I thought that was a phenomenal performance. Yeah, and he won an Oscar for it, but it was doesn't great. Mean he's great. Yeah, then watch that same guy in the movie called Jupiter Ascending. Um, the Wachowskis, yeah, the Wachowski sci-fi movie where he just eats poop literally throughout the whole movie. Okay. All right. I just, I'm not a big fan of Eddie Redmayne. If I saw him on the street, I'd punch him in the face. He's just oh, one of those Lord. punchable kind of people. Little did we know that he's actually a, uh, uh, he subscribed to this channel and now he's like tearing up like, oh, yeah. <laughs> as <laughs> if, but I mean, that, that wouldn't be a shocker because he, he always looks like he wants to cry. Like I said, he was also in, um, Les Mis back in 2012. Yeah. And he did, he did a fine job. I thought so, too. Like no, said, he doesn't. He, he's he, just no, 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 a wanker. No, no. He, he <laughs> and that's a British bad word, so nobody knows what it means. So, so he, he would be in that movie, though, because he always looks like he's about to cry and shed tears. But, yeah, Secrets of Dumbledore, mm, polite pass. I just don't care about Fantastic Beasts enough. And they took out um your boy John Depp. He's not in it. They they. Since all his shenanigans, they put in Mads Mikkelsen uh, for the villain for that. That, so. that makes sense. Um, poor Johnny Depp. He's he's not a perfect guy. I really like him though. Like I just I, I just like him. I think he's getting a lot of flack, unneeded flack. But that's not that's not for me to talk about right here. That is uh, that's a whole nother. That's a another. Ooh, yeah. yeah. A, a a poor lost misguided soul. Well, that's also a topic that I don't want to—I don't really want to discuss here. Anyways, <laughs> uh, discussion <laughs> we do talk about on this channel is a lot of Disney Plus, and November twelfth is the anniversary of Disney Plus, and the MCU Yay. has a lot of stuff coming out, being released, some news releasing. Um, yeah, so they're going to be highlighting um, um. On the twelfth, on the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love came to me. No, on November twelfth, um, that's when uh, Shang Chi is gonna be uh, released onto Disney Plus, so everybody can check that out. See what an incredible film that is. So soon? Um, that's interesting. Yeah, that's that's fair. I mean, any in in a regular time period, most movies have a month and a half theatrical time maybe two um yeah and so by then by after halloween yeah shang chi won't even be in theaters anymore there'll oh, be man. other big films that'll be coming out by has then, uh know. black widow already been taken out of theaters oh yeah oh that's been out oh all right well that's already that's already free to stream on is yeah. it for real yes wow okay dang they're going oh, yeah. they're cranking these bad boys up but um um, other, you know, MCU stuff will be coming out. Big news. I'm thinking, you know, just some more information about the new films and uh, the What If series. Is Every week there's been a new episode about it's that. It's so, so good. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Oh, my gosh. So um, they'll, they'll probably be – I'm thinking they'll be like, what's the next – this is the next phase – Here's the list of the phase. Because even they keep talking you know. about, you know, variants and everything like that. In the show Loki, they talked about the variants. In What If, they talked about the variants. And I think even in Shang-Chi, they talked about some variants. So I think we're going to be seeing some, like, multiverse stuff or alternate universe stuff be going through uh, in yeah. these movies. Um, but who knows? They, they've got a whole, whole slew of things to be going through. All right. 
Speaking of slew of things, Netflix buys ro- Rod... Ro- oh, gosh. I said it right before. What is it pronounced? Rod- rolled Dal. Roll- rolled. 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 <laughs> like a rolled. Rolled Dal. What kind of name is that? I know that's like the children's books. Sh- but what he, type no, of name No, I is think that? he's Norwegian. I'm I'm pretty sure he's Norwegian. He's not... I, my name is yeah. Roald Dahl. Anyways, his <laughs> library is coming to Netflix. So get ready to see some. Yeah, so those moneymaker guys at Netflix, they're like, hey, we can make content if we have Roald Dahl's stories. So get ready because they're going to crank out Matilda 2 starring Mary Wilson as middle-aged Matilda. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the BFG 2 with Mark Rylance as the BFG beefy fun goodness. <laughs> and guest starring Tom Holland. No! <laughs> as, as the BFG. <laughs> Please. Yeah, seriously. And then, um, yeah, Road Dahl wrote the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory book. So we'll have a uh, Willy Wonka and the Glass uh, Elevator book, and just all these other things that Road Dahl did. He had a, a weird sense of humor in a lot of those Starring books. Starring so. Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah, literally, Chris, Chris Pratt, Pratt, Pratt is in everything. Yeah. Uh, Chris Pratt later. Yeah, Tom Holland and Chris Pratt have ruined the movie industry. <laughs> they truly have. I saw. Yeah, we'll we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get to like, it. Son stay, of a gun. St- stay tuned for Nintendo Direct when we actually talk about Chris Pratt <laughs> in Nintendo. It okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> moving on. Brian wanted to know what we are currently playing. So, video games. What are we playing, guys? Just this little little throwdown. Brian, what are you playing? Uh, I've been trying to play Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I love it. It's so fun. Um, I'm playing, you know, I tried Mass Effect 1, but the controls are horrible. I know that they updated it, but those controls for Mass Effect 1 are still really, you know, uh, gimpy. So Janky. Yeah, janky. But you pick up Mass Effect 2, and the controls are, like, just, like, like butter. Like butter. And it's just a good story. It's great. I love it. It's like just Star Trek in space with cool aliens. Um, so, yeah, that's I haven't been able to play as much because the kids are always around, but dang kids. But uh, <laughs> that's what I'm playing. All right, KT, what have you been playing? All right. Um, I'm playing a few things right now. Um, I'm, I'm trying to finish uh, Final Fantasy VII remake on the <clears throat> PS4. Excuse me. I'm actually really terrified of, like, the further I get into this game, I'm really terrified of having to fight Sephiroth. Um, it actually, he actually is extremely menacing. And I just get so nervous, like, oh gosh, am I going to be able to do it? I'm also playing Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I just got it, and it is a blast. I didn't think that I would enjoy the art style. Uh, the very cartoony, plasticky uh, art style that they went with. It's more like but Play-Doh. Actually, yeah, but I'm actually really digging it, and, and this game is a lot of fun. Um, I'm also playing, Ileana and I are also playing uh, Bowser's Fury. Oh, it's so good. It is, I, I was really apprehensive about getting it. I wish I had gotten it sooner. This game is so so good it was slept on oh my gosh if you play it in um and multiplayer mode wow it is so much fun just to have the chaos of it all it's a lot of fun to play together and that's for switch yeah yes and it's a different chaos than the uh 2d mario games where you could play multiplayer where it is absolute chaos um where you're like what's going on what's going on this one, it's controlled chaos, I think. Yeah, um, and I think it's actually more family-friendly than the other ones. I've noticed yes. it's a little bit easier to finish. Like, Hunter has the boys playing it, and they're able to finish uh, a match or whatever you want, a level. Whereas in those other Mario Bros. ones, goodness gracious, you could never reach the freaking flag. They were so hard. <laughs> 
Um, the levels are shorter, which is good. Um, and there, there are a lot of levels, and they're really, really fun. Um, so I'm really appreciating of that. Um, I'm also trying to beast my way through Bravely Default 2. Man, I have misled the masses. I was, earlier this year, I was really looking forward to Bravely Default 2, and I got it. And I, it is just a slog. I can't make it past the first boss, guys. Oh, and no. I even, put, I even put it on easy mode. I was like, well, okay, maybe I can just go from normal to easy and just get the story over with. I can't do it. This game is just, oh, it's hard, which is a shame. But that's what I'm playing. Is it hard but, like, intriguing, or is it hard and just dumb? You know, um, I would like to say that it is intriguing um, because the story is, is a nice story. It's kind of, uh, like, you can see it coming. You know, it's predictable. Right. You said it's predictable. It's predictable, and I can't get past the artwork or the design of the characters. They look like Precious Moments dolls. Oh, no! <laughs> and and um, that takes a... The voice acting is really bad. Um, I had to put it in Japanese, and um, I don't know. I, I just feel a little chafed with this one. And so that is what I am playing. Ileana, that, what are that, you playing? That's a shame, KT. I'm sorry for your your bravely default loss. Oh, I know. Uh, you did say that was going to be a good game and I know. rip I that one. I Oh, no. Anyways, what I'm playing is I am playing Ori and the blind. Uh, is it Blind Forest? Yeah. Or the yeah. Forbidden Forest. No, it's Blind. blind. Yeah, so I'm playing Ori in the Blind Forest. I always want to say Will of the Wisp, but that's the second one, not the first one. I'm playing the first one on the Switch, and it's so much fun. I'm playing it on easy mode because I'm not very good at platformer games, but I really want to play them because it's a beautiful game. The music's great, and I've heard amazing things about it. But So I have it on easy, and I've been going through it, and it's really fun. I'm enjoying the crap out of it. And I Is also... Oh, huh? I, I have a question about it. Is it a Metroidvania type of game? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Sim similar to um, Hollow Knight? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Exactly, exactly that same type of thing where you're like, mm -hmm. you know, side scrolling, there's puzzles, you just go into individual yeah. little sections of a map, and new things change, story adds on, stuff like that. Um, and you gain new abilities as you progress through the story. So, oh, okay, you got to this part, now you get, you know, either you can double jump or you can fly or whatever stuff like that so it's been really really fun the art is beautiful the music is wonderful i've been enjoying that um and then i started oh my goodness i booted up my wii and Yay. i've been playing twilight princess as of Yay. tonight my gosh was it a headache trying to get it all set up though so many wires and cords and batteries and oh my gosh i just ugh. i'm so glad the switch is just like that's it that's all you gotta do just grab the controller and then you know lock that thing in no no more nothing more than that so um been playing twilight princess because i've been watching a lot of videos on um like retrospective or why it's the best game or stuff like that mysteries and hidden facts about twilight princess and i'm like dang it i love this game so much if you guys don't know it twilight princess legend of zelda is my favorite game of all time and i've just missed this game so so much and so for me to boot it back up has just been uh, so much fun to play so i'm only at the beginning but i can't wait to keep diving in and you know cry because it's so good anyways that's what i've been playing and that's what we've all been playing kt you have some exercise with us yes, yes. exercise yeah. time it is holy moly all right gang so i've been under the weather this week i've not been able to hit the gym but i have a super great exercise for you it is called the three-point extension you sit on your bottom with your hands behind you, your arms extended behind you, and you keep your legs uh, just about three inches off the ground, and you bring your knees in into the middle, then extend them out, 
and then you're going to bring it to the left, extend them out again, and you go to the left, middle, right, middle, left, left. That Ouch. Will give you, yes, that will give <laughs> you, <laughs> that really works out everything. Your abs, your arms, your legs, your thighs. Um, do that um, about, uh, you could do that maybe 10 times each direction for about three times. So you'll do uh, each direction. No! Yes, <laughs> yes. And no, I don't want to burn! <laughs> Yes, it and it will give you a burn. Um, so it's it's very simple. Like the the motion is very simple but effective. So once again, that is the three point extension. So eat local, exercise daily. Unless you're sick like me, then drink your fluids and get some rest. <laughs> and take some vitamins. Yes, vitamins. All right, so I'm going to, it, like I said in the beginning, it's not going to be animation related. Uh, I'm just going to briefly talk about, since we've talked about it before, I recently watched Corella, and I wanted to say I'm sorry to Corella. I thought it was going to be crap. I thought it was going to be garbage. I was like, ugh, Corella? Like, how are they? I, Emma Stone? Just, eh, eh. Boy, was I wrong. That was a great movie. I don't know if it also has to do with the fact that I like fashion movies like that. So the whole like fashion thing and her making the costumes and the outfits, the dresses. I loved that whole thing. And then her performance as Corella and Est Estella was wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. And her little, her little gang members, her friends, they were great. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the angle? I love that. That was yeah. too good. So if you guys haven't seen Corella, it's free to watch now on Disney Plus if you have the subscription. Go see it. It really was great. What did you think of the uh, minor spoilers here? Minor spoilers. There's your warning. Um, what did you think of the part when um, Cruella was getting back at uh, her boss and was just like sabotaging all the the uh design shows oh i loved it i thought that I was awesome it, it was brilliant because it wasn't I like, like the... it wasn't mean so to yeah. say it was more like i i don't know it wasn't exactly like just mean it was like it was one smart step ahead of you we're yes one step ahead of you and we're gonna do this brilliantly we're yes it was very style, smart literally. I, um, I but I think my favorite look was the garbage truck one. Yes, that yes, was so yes. good. That was that was exquisite. Um, of course, also I really liked the the punk rock thing. Um, yeah, such a such a British thing. That was the one part that I thought, oh, this might be a little too edgy for a younger audience. No, but, I don't think um, so. I I remember you saying that during the movie. You know, you're like you're the '60s punk. I don't know. I was like, no, who cares about that? It was awesome. It was great. So good. I will say really the uh, CGI Dalmatians kind of yeah, looking. Look they looked a little mm, really not so good at times, but everybody else's performance made up for it. So I also I also really like a uh, huge spoiler here. If you don't want a huge spoiler, don't listen. Put your fingers in your ears. Don't click off. Just put your fingers in your ears. I see you over there in the corner, Timmy Tantrum. Put your fingers in your ears. Um, the part when they go to the big party and everybody is dressed. Like, yes. Oh, that was so good. Oh, uh, just the like, look on her face. Like, yes. it, how <laughs> dare you all? Like, excuse me. Oh, so uh, good. Brilliant. Brilliant. I love it. Oh, it was so clever. I yeah. I love it so much. Very so good. Much. So if you guys have not seen Corella yet. I, you can uh, come back to this part if you yeah, skipped you can, ahead. You can come back now. You can, you can listen you can now. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It was very fun. I will say it was rather long, but it was good. Yes, yes. It, and it had a, a negative thing about it. Um, this won't spoil it. But there were too many, um, like, <gasps> moments that they were trying to go for. Um, yeah. Some of them didn't quite hit as hard. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't really have a word. I guess shock factor. Yeah. Um, I think they would have been fine with just one. I think I just heard of a new a new British uh, 
like gasp or like in awe or wow <gasps> is called gobsmacked. No, that's an old one. I've been gobsmacked. That's what they call it. I didn't know about that. Gob. Yeah, that's that's an old saying. Never heard of that before. Anyways, go check out Corella. Brian, what is your stream pick of the week? Oh, okay. I thought you guys forgot about me for a sec. Oh. <laughs> I, you could see him. He looked like a, a Nintendo 64 Super Mario Party character when they get hit and they start going around in like a little circle. That's what Brian just looked like right now. Okay. Um, so my stream pick of the week is streaming on Hulu. Uh, it's a very popular show. A lot of people are talking about it. It's called Only Murders in the Building. It's with uh, my dad, Steve Barton, uh, Martin Short, and uh, Selena Gomez. Pretty much, it's just about this uh, murder mystery that takes place in this posh uh, New York uh, apartment building um, that uh, Steve Barton, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez investigate. It's a lot of dark humor. Uh, it's great, though, but these guys decide to start uh, decide to start a podcast when uh, another member of their apartment building is murdered. Uh, very good mystery so far. Um, I think there's about three or four episodes that already have been released. So it's a pretty good mystery. Lots of onions and layers slowly coming out. The acting is really good. Steve Martin is good in everything he does. Martin Short is good in everything he does. Selena Gomez is really surprisingly able to hold her own with these uh, guys. So uh, it's a really good show. I really recommend it if you like murder mysteries. And once again, that was on Hulu. Yes. Streaming on Hulu. Yes. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time that you have all been waiting for, it is The Chunk. And we've got some differing opinions here. We're going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct that just dropped today. September 23rd, it hit today. 40 minute long Direct of new games, games that have already been talked about. Let's get into it. So, uh, by the way, if you have not seen the Direct yet, uh, everything is going to be spoiled here. We're going to just be talking freely about it. So this if you have not... This is episode of spoilers. Yes. Just don't even watch this one, guys. Just go away. Okay, that, that's not what we're saying. But if you guys have not seen the Direct and you wanted to get the information firsthand, go check out the Direct and then come back here. You know, you're at the 30-minute mark pretty much. So go, go, or come back at 30 minutes to the, come back here at 30 minutes. All right? You're good? We're all good? We've all seen the Direct here? Man. Yeah. Nice to see you. All right. Unfortunately, I saw the direct. Hello, so. direct people. You guys have all seen the direct. The other people who have not will come back to the 30 minute mark. Welcome. All right. So let's get straight into it. What was the first thing that was announced? Um, it, I can't remember. It was actually something a little weird um, to start out with. It was an expansion for something. I can't remember. Um, the first big thing to hit was Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Yeah. Dude, that was like halfway through the thing, man. But that was a really interesting one because people have been talking about wanting a Kirby game for so long and they're like, you know, where is a Kirby game for the Switch? We had Star Allies and then that was it, you know? Yes, and um, I played Star Allies um, and it was fun. It was very short and very easy. So with this new game, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, it is, it looks to be, I don't want to say that it is, but it looks to be a semi-open world game. Right. Uh, it take, It looks like it takes place in an, in an abandoned mall, of all things. Um, not a lot of gameplay was shown, which is a little it, concerning. But... What they said it was, was it was, what they said it was, it was a new world, deserted past world or something like yeah. that. So now everything is run down. There's a shopping mall that has, you know, trees and vegetation growing through. Is so, it Earth? Is Earth the, the uh, dead yeah. land? The dead forgotten and land? And it was, it was very interesting looking, too, because when they first showed it, uh, all you see is a cut of, like, a road and some vines and a shopping mall and you're like oh my gosh literally my first thought was is this mario kart 9 especially when they went to that one okay like my mind threw back to i thought i thought it was the last of us kid edition honestly kid edition i thought it was like coconut mall 
like redone because of the shopping mall and then the vines. And then I thought, oh my gosh, we're getting Mario Kart 9 because then I saw the road. And then Kirby, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, never mind. It's We're getting a Kirby game. That's interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I, I don't know if I am because, once again, like you said, not a whole lot of gameplay was shown and we don't have a whole lot of information. I did, uh, I don't know. Kind of iffy on it right now. The gameplay looked a lot to me like uh, your um, Breath of the Wild kind of stuff. You are on one tonight. What are you talking about? I'm saying it had like, there. they had a scene of like the little uh, mushroom guy, the little, um, what is he made of like, like cotton? Anyways, he had like a sword and he was fighting like this giant beast, like chop, 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 He's chop, He's had chop. that, that outfit for, since like the N64. Anyways, so anyways, that's what he was doing, and there was other villains, and he was sucking on them, and then spitting them back out at other villains. <laughs> Don't uh, quite uh, like that verbiage. <laughs> <laughs> he like ate them, and then he spat them back out again. Thank I mean, you for clarifying what happened. I. <laughs> wow. How old I don't are we, know 10? what else you want from me. Are we 10 year olds here? I just told you what <laughs> he did. Anyways, the listen, the the game looks like it's like 10 years old. The the graphics look horrible. It looks like Wii level graphics. I'm oh sorry. man. We'll see. We'll see how uh uh how close to Brian's prediction that is. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything like, oh, yeah, whoa. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe if you're, I'll, like, I'll a huge that. Kirby fan, but. Um, well, this is, I'm, I'm going to say something, and it's to agree with you and disagree with you. Fair enough. The, the, the graphics did look subpar. They did look subpar. Um, in, in Kirby's defense. Not saying that it's right, but in Kirby's defense, it is a very cartoony game. It's almost like, not it shouldn't be, but it is almost as though they're taking Kirby in the route of strictly little kid game. Yeah. That, that seems to be the, the direction that it's been going for years. I don't agree with that. I don't think they should do that. I think the, the fan base for Kirby is definitely uh, people our age, uh, really people of all ages, because it is a fun game. It's very cute. Um, the music is banging. If you have not ever heard a Kirby soundtrack, you need to go dig up a Kirby soundtrack. Um, but that is just, you know, saying that, yes, it was subpar. And I hope that they, they do something to improve that. But there may be a reason for it. So I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait and see what goes on. And to continue, we've got a lot more to talk about. Yeah, we do. After that, what was announced next? Hyrule Warriors Expansion Pack. All right. Now we have two new fighters. That's pretty cool. Once again, if you have not seen the direct uh, spoilers, we have, oh gosh, what was her name? Um, not Pura. Pura's already in it. The Genki. Genki girl. Yeah. And uh, Robert or something like that. Oh, man. I can't remember their names, but now they're fighters, which is really interesting. The, the people in the Akala region, they're now the Akala Research Lab or whatever. They're now characters, playable characters. So that's interesting. Yeah, I like I like what they've got. Um, I like their their uh, fight set that I saw. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play them and just bash the baddies. Yeah, with some um, ancient weapons or something like that. Yes. But aren't ancient during that time because that's when they were created, or no? They were they were ancient. They they dug them up and oh, okay, and, uh, yeah. So they were created and uh, like years and years and years before that. I think like ten thousand years before that. Mm. And then and then they years and years up. and years. <laughs> yes, and so they dug them up and, and found them, and then they did experiments with them. So that's that's what happened. Um, but uh, it looks it looks good. I think it'll be um, a good addition to the story. I'm interested to see where the story goes. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, okay, where are they going to take this thing going forward? Are they going to add more story to it to kind of allude to what they're going to do for, Hy uh, not Hyrule Warriors, but Breath of the Wild 2, maybe? Yes, 
And I think there is one more expansion pack coming later. Not, okay. Uh, probably not. Um, probably not even this year. If uh -huh. I had to guess, it would. I, if I had to guess, it would probably come out early next year. Um, no confirmation on that or anything. Um, but what I I beat Hyrule Warriors, and there was no unless I'm missing something. There was no ending that I saw that actually said this is how the um, the everybody died. This is how they died. Right. And so I've been I've been really troubled by that. You know. Like, well, they all died by the um, divine beasts with the what are they called? The malice that's inside of the divine yeah, yeah. beast. Those like um, oh gosh, I cannot remember what they're called. Oh man, Timmy Tantrum is just blowing up right now. You don't know. Yeah, apparently. I can't remember what they're called. No, but, what are you um, talking I... about? Oh my gosh. Anyways. Anyways. But, anyway, so High Rewards Expansion Pack. I think it's going to be I think it's gonna be really nice. Yeah, that'll be um, a nice little kickoff to what we're going to be expecting for Breath of the Wild. Just some, just some more Legend of Zelda news because, yeah. you know, everybody wants something. Anyways, what was next on the list? Mario you guys, Mario like, forgot about, Rise. like, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Oh, you know what? That's what it was. I look. Monster Hunter looks really good, and I hear it's really good, but I don't play it. I don't play yeah, because it. it's garbage. Nobody Ooh. plays that. No, that is that's wrong. not true. They had a I've... freaking holiday in Japan for people to take off work and go play Monster Hunter yes, when and, it released. Oh my and gosh. I've heard that it is a serious contender for Game of the Year. What? Wow. Is, yes, I that... heard that. I have Dookie? Heard that from, no, I heard that from several, several sources. Game of the Year. Sources? Yeah. Okay. Sources. And then they had the Mario Party boards. More boards. Yeah, the more boards. The boards that should have been with the original game. I'll give you that. Definitely should have already been. And then N64 boards. Yeah. Like yes. Peach's birthday cake. But you know, I'm not Yay. even mad. I'm not even mad. I'm going to buy it. They know what yeah. they did. Yeah, they, they know exactly what they did. And you know what? I know what I'm doing, too. So. Exactly. I know I'm going to not play the other one, and I'm going to play this one strictly and be like, it's the nostalgia. Okay, then. Here. Have me, have me do this thing. Next is Chocobo. 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 What the Brain heck is this that garbage? Looked, that looked like trash. It looked like trash. I'm like, wow, this is a really horrible Mario Kart This is just... Yeah, it's just skins. It's just yeah. Mario it Kart skins, man. It looked bad. I was like, oh. Mm. You telling me this is what they're wasting time on? Look, they they have to, you know, give games to their smaller companies. Like they're they're. There's people out there choking up for Chocobo. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So, but it, I'm not. I'm not. Animal Crossing new up. Date coming up in November. Okay, this is this is another one that people have been dying for. I see this yeah. on Instagram all the time why in the comment people... section. They're, so, they want Brewster why? so bad. They remember him from the previous games. I think he was in City Folk or New Leaf or something. I think New Leaf. Yeah. And my gosh, they were like, Brewster, where's Brewster? How could they forget about him? And now they're like, Oh, if they dare make this expansion and, you know, they try to make us pay for him, even though he should have been in the original, they were going to, you know, flip tables and raise hell, you know, kind of stuff like that. But, no, they finally are saying free update with a little icon of Brewster so you know he's coming. They did not announce what exactly is going to be coming. They said, we're going to have another showcase so the Animal Crossing people can show you themselves what they're going to be updating on. And that means that there is so much, hopefully, fingers crossed, that there is so much that they're going to include in this update that they have to put it in a separate video. Uh, can we not awesome. get, can we limit the amount of sea basses there are? <laughs> yes. Amount of, fingers if crossed go, for that one. If I go another day without catching another friggin' sea bass, I think I can live with myself. My why, why are they letting down, like, I mean, there's like a billion people that play this game, and... Are people really let down because there's just so little stuff yes. now yes. coming out? Yes. Yes. Well, what the heck, Nintendo? 
What are you guys doing, bro? So I think this is their this is their strategy. They were like, okay, we're just gonna release a game. Everything's not there yet. And to keep the hype up, we're going to release content a year later or, you know, months later. That's not way that's not good, man. Oh my Can't they do want that. Oh my gosh, they want to keep people playing the game, so they're like, for a person like me who hasn't played the game in months, they're going to be like, hey, we have updates, come back, come back to us, come play the game. No, we will come back. Exactly. When we when will the back. islands go to war? That's all I'm saying. Oh my gosh. This is not your Clash of Clans, Brian. <laughs> Mobile game trash player. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, don't ever talk to me that way again. All right, what about... <laughs> Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon oh, Roars yes. by Scott. Yeah, Next. no Next. thanks. It's a card game that you play yeah. on a video game? Now, listen, <laughs> when it comes to card games, I actually play Uno with my friends. I yeah. Uno online. Oh, you, oh, you, okay. All right. Yeah, Millennial. Play, he was about to give you trash for that. <laughs> he was, but it's a lot of fun. It really is. Um, something that Disco was Elysium. What's up with that? I have never that, heard of that in my that life. That game was nominated for so many awards last year. You can't even say anything about this. Going Joanna on. was like, oh, that game looks fun. I can see myself playing that. Uh, Joanna, <laughs> I give you permission to hit him. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't need permission. She just do it anyway, man. Just a little. Uh, something, <laughs> something that we skipped was the Smash reveal on uh, October 5th. That's coming up. Um, this will be the this, last fighter. It's big. It's got to be. Yes. It's bigger. It's right. Shigeru it's Miyamoto himself as the. No, yes. no. It, oh, gosh. That would be funny. No, it's Sakurai yes. as as a Master Hand or something like that. Oh, the, like, it's actually him as the fighter. That'd be cool, Master Hand. Yeah, I've seen people wanting that. Um, what I think it's going to be, I could be wrong, but I, I would be shocked really if it was not waluigi but not just waluigi you know how um you, when you change the clothes you can sometimes like change the character itself yeah um, yeah i think i think we could actually see um like some other mario characters i think that'll be really toad. lame no i don't think so toad or toadette um i think i think you could get you could have a lot of fun with that i think that would be so lame to go out on no, so I don't think so. That's what people, so that's what people have been wanting. We want and Goku. People don't know what Goku. They want. Ar Sakurai has already said Goku is not freaking coming. <laughs> okay, all you Goku people, you know who you are. It's I not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> Move on, okay? It's not happening. Oh, I I honestly don't know who it could be. I'm excited to find out who it will be. I hope I actually know the character, because, like, some of them, I'm like, who that? Like, the hero or whatever hero was announced. I was like, who the heck is that? Mm, a hero or any, right like, now. the py Pyra and Mithra. I was like, who are those people? Why are they here? No, I do like Pyra uh, and Mithra. Um, Ooh, people cool. were mad that it wasn't Rex. Is it Frodo Baggins? <laughs> He's the oh, final player. <laughs> people were upset that it wasn't Rex that uh, from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Listen, is I that the one that was in the Rex. commercial that was like, hey, why am I not in it? I'm the main character. Yes, yes exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm glad it wasn't right. Oh, my gosh. It's another Fire Emblem Sword Fighter. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. That would be so bad. Oh, my that gosh. Everybody just I think, stare at Brian. I think Everybody just stare at Brian. The Smash community would literally go up in flames if it was another <laughs> anime sword fighter. Everybody would burn their switches. Like They'd be like, darn you, Sakurai! So bad. All right, what was next? But, uh, Dying Light 2. Yeah, Stay you know, that human. Looked that looked really good. You think that looked good? Yes, yes I did. No. I, I remember the title, but I don't Dude. remember what it looked like. It looks like a, it looks like an adult uh, PlayStation or Xbox level game trying to be cool for for Nintendo, bro. Serious. It's just like ugh. Ooh. Uh, no, I like that. <laughs> but then I like those I like those types of games where your decisions matter and it and it uh, determines what happens in the end. I like those types. Oh of my games. gosh! I just <laughs> took a, a little off topic. What if the next Smash Fighter was a Korok? 
Oh, a Korok, yeah. <laughs> and and it's like Super Smash or something. It's like Hestu comes out and it's like yeah, <laughs> with maracas. That would be I, dumb. I would love it. Hestu for Smash, yes. That would be so dumb and. Uh, I, I love that you can play him as um, in Hyrule Warrior. Yes. Best. You can he's maneuver him around. Kor- he's just sending out his Korok children, and they're just beating up on <laughs> the bad guy. All right. What's next on our list? Um, It was more Metroid Dread footage. Ooh, that looked real cool. I'm not going to yeah. lie. That looked cool. I, I'm getting yeah. the game, um, and I am I'm wicked excited to play this game. I have an inkling that I'm going to be really terrible at it. But um, I'm I'm really excited for it. Like it the looks more good. That they just and I'm 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 happy for Nintendo that they are pushing this game because it is really building up a lot of hype. Yeah. And I hope that a lot of people are getting hyped for this game. I, I'm really one of those fun. people because I'm not. I've never been a fan of Metroid. I've never played a game. But now all these trailers are coming out. I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. I mm, should I get it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Just do it, man. Um, jump on that that hype train. Um. It, it looks great, and uh, I'm excited to play it. But um, Nintendo, we get it, though. We get it. Metroid Dread. Yes. Yes. Good. Mm-hmm. Um, next is something that not it doesn't really pertain to games, but a new online membership tier that includes Nintendo 64 games and the Sega Genesis coming in late October. Guys, I about flipped my table. When I saw this, I was so excited. Not not just for the 64, because I knew that that was coming eventually, but that they are including the Sega Genesis. Ileana, how long have I been saying, hey, have you found my Sega Genesis yet? Like years. My- yes, years. Yes. And we finally, th- no, we didn't find it. We found. You found everything. We found, found, we found the N64 and the NES in the garage, but not the Sega. You found the freaking Ark of the Covenant in your garage, but I can't find the Sega Genesis. Dang it. It's it might so- be long gone, my friend. Yeah, I want to play Batman forever. Oh, my goodness. You know, in retrospect, that game was just really bad. No, it was really just bad. super difficult, and we didn't know how to play it. We, we did okay. We did okay. We never, and they, they gave you, like, no health. So I think yeah. the farthest we got was, like, to the circus level. No, um, speaking of really difficult games, what also was announced this week, uh, sort of off topic, is that um, there is a Disney collection coming out, um, the SNES versions of the games, which there already was an Aladdin and the Lion King bundle, but now they're releasing um, the Jungle Book with it. You want to talk about a Disney Oh, yeah, that game, game was ridiculous hard. That was so freaking hard. Oh my. I eventually I did get some cheats and I inputted it but then it was like not fun at all cuz you could just like literally just go through the whole level. Um yeah, yeah that-, that game was ridic I mean we threw a banana after banana after banana <laughs> at Ka the snake and the dude just would not die. Oh my not gosh. Die. It was terrible. Um but in addition to uh the 64 and Sega Genesis we're getting controllers and yeah i was i was watching this with wesley and i said you know i probably won't get those controllers but it is so cool that they would even make those they are wireless they are wireless and it's kind of like well maybe (laughs) if i pick up some babysitting jobs and save my monies if you get your uh (laughs) home allowance if i get all a's on my report card Maybe I can save enough if I sp- uh, put out a lemonade stand outside. Lemonade, get your. Get I just want my wireless N64 freaking get controller. Your- Take my lemonade, buy it, give me your money. Give, get your organic stevia infused lemonade. That's some expensive lemonade that you're making over there. <laughs> Timmy Look, Tantrum. These controllers, you know, these. Yeah, I want. Like- controller so that that was pretty cool looking i'm excited to or not excited but i'm interested to see what the membership the new membership is going to look like how much it's going to cost and what exactly going forward would entail you know and the library of games that they have already like um that they're going to be coming out with for the 64 and the genesis it's already it's pretty decent a good library 
And they're going to be releasing um, more games on top of that, such as Majora's Mask um, and, and F-Zero. I'm all for it. I am so We're getting ready. Star Fox. We're getting Mario Kart 64. Star Fox and Mario Kart are the best. Yeah. yeah I'd be like all for those. So uh, Yoshi's Island will be on there too. Yes. So um, that would be exciting uh, for people. All right. What was next uh, that well, was announced? Um, you guys probably won't care about this, but I have been so excited um, for this. Deltarune Chapter 2 is now out. And yeah. if you can believe it, it is free. Uh, really? I, da- I downloaded it on my Switch before we started recording. And here's the reason why. Toby Fox is such a doll. He has, when Deltarune has taken years and years to make, Mm -hmm. because he's still pretty much doing this alone. He has a very small team helping him, but he does the music composition, the coding, the writing, producing, everything. He does everything, pretty much. And um, to the point where it was affecting his physical health, he was pulling a Sakurai. Um, Uh. he, He hurt his hand really bad. Um, he was having mental issues while doing this, and he said, you know what? It's been a hard two years, like last year and this year. It's been hard. I'm just going to freaking give it to you for free. Wow. Yes, and so you can download it right now. Um, it comes with Chapter 1. Um, I'm so ready to play this game. Um, I've already seen some YouTubers uploading their Chapter 2, and they're super stoked. They're like, oh, it's yes. just so good. Yes, and it is. A, when I played Chapter One, it was an emotional roller coaster. Like uh, Undertale was an emotional roller coaster, you know, to begin with. But then Deltarune, um, I think it struck a chord with me. I think I played it at the right time for it to go. Whoa, whoa! I I feel that, dude. Like I I can relate. So I'm I'm really excited to see where Chapter Two goes and and. Um, See what on earth is happening with with these characters. Um, so go download it. It is it is free. Alrighty, next on the list, guys, strap in. How long how long are we recording? Because we may be here a while. Ooh, all right, we're already, already almost at the fifty five minute mark. Oh it my is god, strap in. Fifty five. <laughs> Mario movie by Illumination Studios starring Mario as Chris Pratt. I I couldn't believe it. Chris Pratt starring in Mario. Believe it. I was like, why? We we joke about this a lot on Bump that that Chris Pratt and Tom Holland are (laughs) get like they are Hollywood right now. But guys, it was just literally freaking confirmed today. Oh my god. I couldn't believe it. I just saw it. I just watched Onward this past weekend yeah. with the girls and I was like, yeah, he works in this role, but it's like I'm thinking Chris Pratt as Mario. Mario. I, it's okay. How do you how do you even connect those dots? Yeah, Is it know. just because he's that like friendly and cool as a voice actor? He did a uh, the yellow brick guy, what's his name? Um, the Lego movie kid. What's his? Oh, what's that? Well, the Lego brick movie. Yeah. Or, what's uh, that? Ga- what's that um, character's name? His name? Um, oh my gosh, it was something very. Emmett. Important. Emmett. He he didn't play Emmett. as Emmett. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. He played Chris as Emmett. Chris Pratt was Emmett. Yeah. That's what got Chris Pratt famous was playing Emmett in was Lego he movies really? one and two. Yes, yes, he was. Yeah. Um, but then on top of that, we have Charlie Day as Luigi. I could see that. I could no, see that. I, no, I could see that. That's that's good. Charlie Day doesn't do a lot of voice acting, so that that makes sense. That makes sense. That'd be really interesting. All you can just see him as the guy that has like the meme that he looks like he's absolutely just deranged, like in front of that. But it. Board. But it, it, the thing is though. Like the Mario Brothers is supposed to be from like Brooklyn, you know, and like have some New York accent. Uh, but I don't think that's the, the approach that they're gonna go for. They're not gonna do the 1980s version no, of Mario no. Bros. Wait, the you're talking about the cartoon? Like the cartoon? It's gonna be animated. I know, but like back in the 80s, there was the animated cartoon, and they were like, "Oh, Mamma Mia, what's they're going on here?" They're not gonna do that no. this time. I think they're trying to move away from that. Bro. Yeah, because they have. But then, so. 
so then they're gonna have like this millennial like oh my gosh what's going on kind of like voice, you've had you know? charles martinet voice mario for gosh um, ever. ever and he's never been like a Oh, mamma mia. Like, too, too. Obviously, he said that, but it's never been like, super it's not, Italian. It's not a New York, it's not a New York accent. It's yeah. Italian. He, you don't associate him with Brooklyn anymore. You associate him with the money. No, I gotta go fix a plumber job. I got a yeah, plumber job. That, I gotta fix a toilet. It's not gonna be that, like that. He's not even a plumber anymore. No, he's, it is, uh. It is canon that he's not a plumber anymore. Who knows what he is anymore? Uh, oh, the, then I don't even know. Yeah, on top of that, we have Anya Taylor Joy as, as Peach. Peach. I don't Peach know who that it. is. She's she, uh, she did one movie or TV show, the the Gambit. The, yeah, Gambit. The, the, and and, she had and from one. there, she exploded like overnight. That girl is in every. She's gonna be the new uh, she was Furiosa in, in Mad Men. She was. I mean, in, not Mad really? Mad Max. Yeah. She was in um, Peaky Blinders, and that also got okay. some. Tra- uh, traffic on her team. Yeah, she and- she did the one chess movie, and it's like overnight she's the new thing. I mean, it's like okay, slow down. The you know? next thing to make me spit out my cereal <laughs> was Jack freaking Black <laughs> as Bowser. I think it's perfect. That's I fun. Think- I think I, it's I, fun. But then I'm gonna think Poe though. I'm thinking Poe with the panda. No. I'm thinking. I'm I thinking, mean, it's uh, it's Dewey. good inspired casting, but these are all like voice actors that like do this. Like, oh, it, none, none of these are out of the box voice actor choices. They're all like right. They're too on the money or like like get who's popular. Yeah. You know. So is Bowser gonna be like, wow, I'm Jack Black? You know, like. I think Use it's gonna be like, like Dewey your brain, Finn, you know, <laughs> from a like, School of Rock. <laughs> no, I think he's gonna have a lot of fun with the role. And I yeah, he's gonna have fun, but is he? Yeah. If if you were casting Bowser, who would you cast as Bowser? Would you have wanted The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson instead? Oh no, that would be even worse. <laughs> exactly, that's worse. what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well have Ryan Reynolds as like Mario and Luigi or something. Mario you know? and Luigi. No, yeah. Ryan Reynolds plays Toad. Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, speaking of playing Toad, that is um, the comedian guy. Keegan, Keegan Mike is Michael Key. I can't yes. His name right. So Toad is now African American and going to have an African American accent, is what we're saying. Oh, oh I don't think that's how it's going to be. I just think it is. Gonna... Listen, Keegan Michael Key. He does a lot. Again, he does a lot of animated voiceovers, and again, it comes across. It's like, oh, it's a black guy doing the voice. You know, you can't. There's no way you can be like, oh, yeah, it's it's. But I think it's going to so work. Toad I think is it's ne- going to be funny. Oh, I'm sure it'll be works. funny. But it's like, oh, Toad's African American now. I had no clue. <laughs> oh my gosh. After that, another thing to make me just pee on my poop. Another thing to just make me pee on my poop. Okay. <laughs> Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong doesn't even speak. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my freaking. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. There, there's this whole script <laughs> right there. Just a laugh. That's it. Yep. But the- <gasps> Again, I, I just don't feel like this. Again, Seth Rogen does so many voice acting gigs. It's like they got like, hey, who does the best voice acting? Let's, let's look at all the movies with like, voice acting from sony from disney let's just get all those guys and have them join in this movie you know seth rogan has done the blue blob guy from monsters vs yeah. aliens Bob. he did the little he did the little cricket thing from cricket from uh, uh panda. kung fu panda he's done so many voice acting it's like so yeah it's like so immediately oh seth rogan is that guy donkey kong that Let's- how does that even make sense? Lest we forget his work in uh, Sausage Party. Oh, gosh. yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my gosh. That trash. Yeah. Um. All right. So, what's good? What made me? What made me happy is that Charles Martinet will be doing a few cameos in the movie. 
Um, so I think that is that is a good thing that he is being involved as well. Right. Um, and then there are some other people listed. Uh, Kevin Michael Richardson as Kamek. Fred Armisen as Cranky Kong, which was a shock to me that they would put Cranky Kong in this, but I love So it. he's going to play bongos. Uh, cause that's no, what... he's going to sit in a rocking chair. Oh, Cranky Kong. Oh, yeah, I thought you meant Kong. Funky Kong. Funky Kong, no. yeah. And Sebastian Maniscalco. Is Maniscalco. Maniscalco, man. He's like one of the best working comedians in the he's world right now. awesome. Yeah, so he's going to be Spike. So um, I don't understand why Sebastian Maniscalco, an Italian guy from Chicago, isn't going to be doing the voice of Mario. To me, that makes no sense. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump up for Maniscalco. If you haven't seen Maniscalco on Netflix, he's got like at least three or four uh comedy specials watch them they're hilarious they're and you'd so be like good. and you'd be like oh my gosh that should be the voice of mario this is an italian guy you know uh bada bing bada boop forget about it you know <laughs> but no ladies and gentlemen we have in the year, chris in the year, pratt in the year of our lord and savior 2021 we have chris Look, and uh, look, I'm not trying to hit on Chris Pratt. I love Chris Pratt. I think Chris Pratt is great. He's just he's got so much charm. He's so funny. He's great. But Mario? I well, just uh, How does I how just... does this sound to you? How does this sound to you? Coming to you from Illumination Studios. It's the Mario movie starring Chris Pratt and <laughs> Mario. <laughs> <laughs> And Charlie Day as his brother Luigi. That's like it's like getting oh, wait, 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 one more, one more. And playing Toad wearing a tan camisole, The Rock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to me, it's like you might as well have gotten Adam Sandler. No, to be, he he's gonna be playing to Yoshi. Be Mario. He'll be playing Yoshi. The The Rock is gonna be no, yeah. You, the Rock is going to play Yoshi wearing a a very tight tan collared shirt, just like the Rock does in every single freaking film that he does. Gosh. <laughs> Mouth. Mouth. <laughs> oh boy. Oh I just so do you think the guys at like Nintendo were like, man, we really don't want to screw this up. This is our these are our kids. We want to make a really we don't want you know the bob hoskins john leguizamo mario movie we want this to we want a franchise so we got to get this franchise off the ground with like the stars huge big stars to nail this thing so probably know, big names what, help and, yeah. and what i was imagining was they were the executives over at nintendo and illumination were sitting at a table and they're like all right guys we need this to sell. We know it's gonna sell, but we gotta we gotta make it sell. So how are we gonna do it? Chris Pratt. <laughs> I I oh, mean, then, you know, I'll, I'll and then just... maybe we could have uh the minions show up too, and then no. we get Steve Carell as as Gru to do a cameo because they're all under a one umbrella with no, illumination. No. I all will right, so... I all jokes aside, I am excited to see the film. I am too, and it is coming uh, December 21st of 2022. So mark your calendars. Bump that will be there. A year see. from now. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! We've got a lot of news coming to you guys in next year. <laughs> All right, and, and to quickly wrap up, uh, moving on, there were, there were two uh, things, two final things in the direct worth talking about. Um, Splatoon 3 footage includes a story mode. I'm I'm looking forward. It looks good. It looks good. And and um I was a little disappointed that we didn't see more of it. We've seen pretty much what we've already seen. Um but right. I love I love the presentation, how they how they uh, presented it. Um it looks really good. I'm excited for the Inkling sisters, whatever their name is, um to come back and do music. That is some bumping music as well. Um, it is. Yes. And so lastly, the final thing that they showed the finally them the thing that i've been waiting for since 2017 ladies and gentlemen bayonetta 3 Woo -woo! we had a, we have footage yes and now, it's gameplay actual gameplay yes yes and i have mixed feelings about this ladies and gentlemen and i will be brief 
because um, I'm looking at my two amiibos that Ileana bought for me so graciously. It was for Bayonetta's, your birthday. Both, yes, both forms of Bayonetta's, and they look so beautiful. And Bayonetta is in a different form this time, but not only a different form, she's got a new voice actress. Um, and I'm a little disappointed by that. Um, the vo- the original voice actress was so iconic. She was so good. Like I, in fact, there's a there's a line that she was included in Super Smash Brothers where she just says, "Shut up." And I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's just little zingers like that that make her so darling to me. Um, so we have a new voice actress. Uh, I haven't done enough research to know who it is now. Um, but enough of that. She looks very different. Um, she looks more girly, I guess. She looks more decorated. Um, which, okay, I'm cool with that. And she still has her awesome dance moves. I love it. Um, the style is a little different. Um, Brian messaged me and he's like, they've been working five, Platinum Games has been working five years on this and this is what it looks like. Brian, can you elaborate a little bit more about what you were saying? Yeah, it's just garbage. Ouch. It's just garbage. It just looks like no texture, no, I mean, it's, I don't know, maybe it's just because, is this just a Nintendo Strictly game? Just that? It is. Yeah, then it shows because it's just like it's just ugh. No gloss, no shine. I don't know if it's just the power of the Switch. I mean the Switch is fun no, and it, there's fun it, games, but that it's just in this high def, you know, high graphic era, you know, it's like wow. Switch shows its power compared to like PS five and well, whatever the, the Xbox thing. has. Here's the thing. I've got the other Bayonettas on my Switch, and they look great. They look really smashing. Hold on. i got to pause. My dogs are fighting. <laughs> Guys. Quiet. Hurry. All right. <laughs> they both looked at me like, yes. All right. So I'll take it from here. <clears throat> I have both Bayonettas on my Switch, and they look amazing. There is a shine, and there is a gloss to them. Um, originally, they came out for other consoles, but um, when it came out for the Switch, I thought that they did a phenomenal job. Now, I, I do think that the same shine and spark is missing from uh, Bayonetta 3, but I don't know. My fingers are crossed that maybe, maybe they'll refine it just a little bit. Yeah, it still has a whole year to, you know, get polished. Yes, and if Sonic the Hedgehog has taught me anything, is that you can do anything in a year. <laughs> you can rework a oh, whole gosh. movie in a year. So um, a lot can change between now and then. For all we know, they could push it back. They could push it back from their release date of next year. So week. you're telling me they spent five years working on this game and they still... Excuse me, excuse me. Last week you were telling me that GTA 6 can take their sweet butt time because their other games were Because so you good. know they will be a masterpiece. Yes, it'll and so it'll sell games, a billion copies. So these games can take their sweet time too. Make whoa, it to polish whoa. it up too because these So are you took games. 5 years to make poop? Is that what you're saying? Cuz that's <laughs> what right, it is. You want to talk about Death Stranding? Shall we talk about Death Stranding or anything uh, like that? D- listen, Death Stranding, story aside, that game looks amazing. No matter what you say. It looks that... boring. No, I mean, I, look, the look, graphics look, for that game. Who cares? The... Who it cares? looks great. It's. I'm saying, whoa, it's, if it takes whoa. you five years to make something that looks that good, even if it's boring, we're not talking about the gameplay or the story or anything. I'm talking about just like aesthet- something that's aesthetically pleasing. Wow, that yeah, they did a good job. Sure, but for me and a lot of Nintendo users, they they know that Nintendo is not known for their graphics. That's why you have games like Kirby. That's why you have games like Donkey Kong that are that are more cartoony. Who cares? We're not in it for the graphics. That's a, that's a perk. What we're in for is gameplay, and that is one thing that Nintendo has been known for 
throughout the years is the gameplay. It is it is incomparable. It really is. And yes, uh, five years to get your gameplay ready, though? I mean... No, no, no. That We don't know what the gameplay is. The gameplay may be completely solid. It may be, for all I know, it may be game of the year material. We don't know. We didn't We didn't get that much. But, yeah, when it comes to uh, gameplay versus graphics, I'm gameplay all the way. If uh, Going back to Bravely Default 2, if it, if it looks like... Uh, what is it? Um... Dang it, what did I call them? The uh, Precious Moments dolls. Even though they look like Precious Moments dolls, if the gameplay was awesome, then I would be playing that game till Kingdom Come. Um, same thing with Fire Emblem. The graphics for Fire Emblem Three Houses is absolutely appalling. But the game is so gosh darn good, it, it just overshadows everything. So, but I'm getting off my high horse. Getting off my high horse. High horse. So. Down, uh, girl, down. <laughs> yes, down. Down, Bessie. Um, so I'm gonna so hop far, on the low horse here. And... Yeah. So 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 far, Bayonetta three is slated to come out next year. Um, and bump that will be here. Bump next that will year. be there yeah. next year, and we'll record everything, give you all the highlights and updates, my friends. I say my friends a lot at work um, because I work with two year olds, and so I'm so used to saying my friends. Uh, but we will be there next year for all of these new releases, and we'll be there for the reviews of the games. Until then, that was the September Nintendo Direct. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, going down this rabbit hole with us and um, looking at these new releases and being excited and maybe disappointed. Who knows? Let us know down in the comments what you guys think. Are you disappointed? Are you excited? Are you kind of a mishmash of both? Let us know what are you excited for? What did you wish you what uh, what did you wish you saw on the direct that you're like, "Dang it, I was really hoping that would be announced and it just wasn't. I'm bummed." Let who us know this, who is this mystery last character in Smash? Yes, let us know. Is it going to be Goku? Maybe Sakurai has been egging us on. I think it's going to be the Chain Chomp. It's going to be a Korok. <laughs> <laughs> let us know down in the comments what you guys think it'll be and uh thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of bump that uh we've got brian signing off in this corner <laughs> we've got kt signing off in this corner gameplay is everything and we thank you guys so much for listening <laughs> if you guys like this episode please leave a like or a dislike if you dislike the video you know everything helps uh if you have not already subscribed subscribe and maybe hit that notification bell and we will see you guys in next week's episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.